Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Lynn Taylor Connection. And today I'm going to chat a little bit with you. And at the same time, I'm going to be doing that face. Um, so I have all my products set out here. I saw a video uh, a couple of days ago with Saint Products and doing your bronzer first, kind of as, as um, a base coat and to hide any brown spots, which I have a lot of. And I also have like some redness and I noticed like a little bit of kind of like purple. So I'm going to try and cover that up, but really at the same time, give a natural look. So this is the first time I'm doing it with you guys. Um, and I also wanted to talk about um, why I do this. Um, as some of you know, um, I do this mostly, I do it for you guys first. Um, and then I saw that it really helped me. It helped me, it helped my, my mental health, if you will. Um, for over a year now, I have been injured um, with a syndrome called complex regional pain syndrome. And most of the time I'm in pain. I really am. Uh, I have it in my knee. So I got injured January 19th, 2021. And you guys are my feel good. You guys are my go-to, um, I don't know, I guess because I get out of myself and I don't think about it. Um, I mean, I feel it right now. It's been awful, awful, awful these days. Um, but I'm still here because you know what? I love doing this. And if I can help somebody, awesome. But really, I help myself too. So it's kind of a, it's a two part, right? It's give and it's take. So, um, and all I can do when I do these videos is share about myself. That's something I know. I share what I'm feeling. I share what I've lived and my experiences. And if that can help someone again, I mean, I think this is what it's all about, right? Growing and sharing. So we're going to do that as I make up my face. So I have the, um, so over here I have like a little mirror. I'm trying to put it in here. You guys can barely see it, but it's stuck. Suction cup to uh, my table, my desk. You guys are looking for one? DM me. It is awesome, Amazon. So I haven't even tried this, so I'm just going to kind of put this. And you need the bronzer. This is Bella bronzer, which you need so, so, so little of, okay? Do your ears. Don't forget to do your ears. So I have no idea what this is going to look like. So I'm just going to show you here. See, this is my Bella bronzer up top. And this is glow. To get that Jennifer Lopez glow look going on. These are my two blushes. I have nude and pink grapefruit. Love, love, love. You can wear them as eyeshadows. They're amazing. Okay, and these are um, my lip and cheek. So I just put on black cherry. Just to give it a little color like isn't it nice i've never been a huge i've always loved makeup i've been a makeup artist for chanel i've never been one to put like a lot of makeup on my face um i love taking the time to care for myself what i don't love is um it controlling my time all right so i you know, I'll get up, I'll put my concealer on. Um, I love doing um, my mascara. And really, it can be minimal. And you guys have seen some of my um, makeup applications where, you know, I do physio four times a week and I do another therapy um, once a week. So I have like five every day. I have something, which is fine. It gets me out. Um, so if anyone's watching, you know, um, I know that some days we don't, we just don't feel good, right? It's, it's, it's tough. Some days are really tough. It's hard to even, um, just get dressed. I get that. And I'm so grateful that I had family and friends around me that were able to come, get me out, call me, um, because living with pain, chronic pain all the time, um, I still don't know how to do it. You know, so this is one of my solutions. Um, I'm not, I do, I take medication every day for it to help. I have no narcotics. I try not to go there. 
Um, I went there for a while. My head just got really confused. I couldn't even think. It was really, really tough. It was tough in my relationship. Um, so taking care of yourself through all that and through the pain, I know I've never, I've never lived it. So for me, it's a challenge. Um, so doing this, thank you for being there with me. All right, so I did put a base. I kind of like it. It looks nice. I used my um, powder brush, right? If you ordered the bronzer, Bella bronzer is awesome. Really for anybody and glow, I suggest it too. And if you order the brush and bronzer, you can choose the bronzer you want. Uh, click on the link in my bio, uh, my Saint link. And if you buy the brush and the bronzer together, um, it's like $10 off, which is really good. It's really, really good. These brushes, well, it's two brushes in one. Don't forget, you're getting two brushes. They're awesome. They clean, like, look how clean they are. I just clean them all the time after every use. Um, they're designed, these brushes, to pick up your cream makeup, deposit it on your face, not get sucked into your brush. So you're wasting and using way more product than you want because then that just comes expensive and we don't like that, do we? I'm just going to add a little bit here. See, I have um, some discoloration there with dark spots. And that's a lot of tanning. No tanning. Bronzer. Spray tan. Um, you want to spray tan? Let me know. I had cancer in my skin and right here in my nose and they dug out a piece of cancer and I'm good but once you um, get one and I tell the universe I'm good I will never have it again I'm really careful sunscreen on my face my hands when I go out every day it's cloudy today sunscreens on I don't care um, my brown spots from you know when I was younger tanning well they come out more now see I was a sales rep for years on the road this side of my face I find has more um, brown pigment than the other side Okay, so now I'm going to come and put, all right, so these are my, um, we call them highlights, okay, so I have my, my light, my medium, like, like my concealer, I can do all my face um, with these two or just one, and even these two sometimes I'll mix, so when we go from season to season, you can change, uh, change it up, and depending what you're trying to cover, okay, so I'm going to take my detailed brush. I love the small end. I'm going to dip just in my lightest color. And that's my concealer for my eyes. Always put a base on your eye. I think it's really interesting putting this uh, bronzer on first because you look good and healthy. And don't forget your neck. Bring it down here, especially if you have short hair. It's so weird. Um, sometimes I see women I, where I see videos you know and you see the makeup here is nice and it's colorful and in her neck is like either really light or dark um as you get more mature you're better off to go a shade darker than lighter then we just look pasty and yucky um so when you do a color match if you're not sure in my link also I can give you a color match send me a picture of yourself um, I'll check your skin tone and away we go so you have the right colors and even if you look on the website we have some pre-done um, collections for you okay and if you're not sure which one DM me please please DM me so I'm gonna here just put my medium color I want to cover my bags my dark spots under my eyes um, yeah didn't sleep very well it's okay so that's done now um, let's do I can do some I'm going to do some contour, okay? And don't be afraid. Like, sometimes I don't use enough contour. I'm kind of new to this, but... Put it on just under your cheekbone, all right? If you think you had too much, we bring it up. Don't bring it down, okay? Because what we're creating here is, is shadows, all right? Up, up, up. And especially that I have this mark here. I'll try to put a little more there just to get that spot. Interesting. There we go. All right. So my face is already like very uh, oval. So I'm not doing it too much on an angle. I'm going to try and do it a little square. And I can go with my brush here and then just taper that off 
all right you don't need to go right right back go from here to about the corner of your eyes okay so about there you don't want to bring it right in okay and if you don't have enough then later it doesn't it doesn't show up i'm always afraid to put too much on okay so now I'm going to go with my two colors here. All right. See, and this is where I can come to and just get under my contour. Pat it on, all right, as we get older. Or if you have poor issues, it's a pat pat thing, okay? Shape makeup is designed to be used that way. I bring the excess. I didn't really need to go and get more. I'm just kind of using what I have on my brush. I don't want a bunch of products either in my lines here. Bring this down, right? And we did do um, all our um, bronzer so it gives me a nice base to apply then my highlight which you know for you guys it's it's your foundation so I'm just going to go a tad little in my lighter color bring it here I want to color that red and I'm dabbing it to cover my pores And watch that hairline, okay? Okay, there's my other mirror. If you get some in your hairline, it's fine. Just remember to go and dab it after. Okay, forehead. Again, just dab. A little bit of that darker color. I'm going to dab all over. Because I have a lot of brown spots. I'm going to cover them. All right, you don't usually have to layer or need to layer um, these same colors. But you're going to find what works for you. And, um, you know, what we're trying to cover in photos sometimes is a little different. So just play with them. Don't get discouraged because this is the best makeup I have ever had. For mature skin, it is so light and it just feels moist and really nice. It's not cakey. And I'll show you a little trick after when you need to... To take a little bit off if you're to um, set it and whatnot, okay? So, oh. all, right, all right, red's all gone, which is great. Love that. So, and we get like the different colors, so we're not, we don't have like a flat same color everywhere because so I'm a little lighter here and I go a little darker um, we want to look healthy and not pasty and at the same time I'm covering um, my brown spots any red spots I have and I find it's doing it like really really well so I'm going to take my lighter color now I'm going to come under my eyes now my the darker one I put melts into my skin and then we put a little lighter okay what this contour is almost gone kind of went over a little bit too much so now i can put my blush i'm gonna put my pink right through it Nice, I love that. And the same with the contour, just kind of the difference, adding the, the pink. I'm just going to do one side so we can see the difference, okay? Okay, like that. Let's put a little bit of glow. Love that glow. Okay. Just gives that sheen. And as we get older, we have to watch these um, 
glowy things. I don't know how well you guys see me if there's too much light going on. I tried to turn this light down best I could. Oh, well, that's better, I guess. There we go. Let me open the curtain. There, I think it's better light for you guys. Okay. So another thing I love to do, I'm going to take my nude blush. I love taking a nude blush and just put it in here. Good eyeshadow trick. You know, it's just quick at the door. There we go. Bam. Let's put a little bit of my... Um, contour my forehead. I have a very tall forehead so what I want to do is kind of break that up a little bit. And then I could have done that with bronzer too. I'm going to give a bronzy look and I'll go back with it because my contour is, is a little cooler than my bronzer, right? I'm not looking to um, bring warmth all over my face. I really need to close this brush too much. So what I want to do is just make it a little shorter. bronzade look and really you can go just with the fluffy side get a little bit and I'm gonna go right so bronzers let me see you can do the C here and bronzer a little bit here eyebrow so for my eyebrow you can either choose a contour that's very um, cool very dark that uh, you can see but I mix these two I mix the black eyeliner with um, this brown kind of it's not too black not too brown I don't want you know I have really super short hair very ashy and white but I don't need my the hairs I do have are not black. So what I try to do mostly is just camouflage um, the ink that was used for my eye that was too red. So as it wears, it gets red. I've done it over twice now. Um, so I just I just put my shadow over it, which is the, per the reason why I had it done. Right? So I see the difference with an eyebrow down and the other one not. Right? You can see well. All right, so I'll just go ahead and do this too. I always start in the middle of my eyebrow, not to get full color right, right here, right. So I just want to be careful. Try to get as even color as you can, and then you just use those little spoolies. Right, if you need to, like comb it out. I love these, and just this will spread and even out your color. It will, it will. Okay, so I'll come now and put my blush here. And you see, this makeup just sets in your face. I put my setting uh, spray on first, which I forgot, so I'll do it after. Right. Um, it's so much I wanted to tell you guys. Okay. My shadow. It's my nude blush. That's it. It's as fancy as I'm getting today. Alright. You want a little shadow? I didn't take a little shadow on your eyeliner. And just a little. I find by putting eyeliner on too, if I get mascara on my eye, um, I'm not taking off any um, of my concealer or you know, changing color. Sometimes if you wipe and wipe and wipe and then you got to go back and put eyeshadow and put concealer, you got these kind of bald spots of product. But the other trick too, when I use... Um, 
my uh, primer, if you will, L'Oreal, um, it does not. It's like I don't, I hardly get any mascara on my eye since then, since I use that. Okay. Got that done, got that done. Let's put some glow on. We'll glow up the face. I love glow, right? We want healthy. So I'm not going to contour my nose. I'm leaving it as a natural look. We'll do that another time. Um, but I think we're good. Oops, I'm just going to try. It's really weird to have that spot there. It's the first time really that I'm having issues with that. Right, so you see it's kind of like nothing will even stick to it. It's very weird. Very weird. Brush up. Blend in. Blend her in. See the glow? I don't know if you guys see it, but I love it. And glow is also really, really pretty um, on your eye. It's really nice. Put some down here. It's on my lid. And just put it over. Very pretty, very natural. We like natural. Just a little bit. Really just a little, not putting a lot on. Maybe hardly for for camera. Okay. Yeah. Primer. L'Oreal Voluminous Primer is absolutely fabulous. So getting back to mental health, I mean, anybody having issues and, you know, I talk about this so much because I still hear so many people talk about mental health like people are crazy and it drives me insane. I have so much compassion and empathy for people with this illness. And I've seen it in my family, uh, myself being injured, dealing with this pain. I mean, you cannot help sometimes but get depressed because I haven't been able to walk, dance, do any normal activity since January 19, 2021. Over a year. I can never imagine. I mean I went to see a specialist the other day for my knee and I said you know I would love for you to tell me that hey we missed something it's a muscle we're going to operate you good. But it's like no. So I mean this complex um Regional pain syndrome can take, I think it's after two years, then they see um, what the injury has left and how I'm going to stay for the rest of my life. So from a sprained knee, um, I got complex regional pain syndrome. Working in a resident, washing one of my clients. Um, life's funny. I went there and said, I'm going to go and help and do something and I wasn't working wasn't teaching and uh, yeah two weeks after I injured myself so I'm grateful for the help that I'm getting I mean I have wonderful 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 physiotherapist anybody looking for some um, let me know because I mean they they watch me cry they watch me come in discouraged sometimes and they're they just listen, and which is what we want, right? I mean, I know there's nothing anybody can do, but just having your ear and just you guys being here today and listening to me is amazing. So reach out, you know, do something that you love. Find, uh, I mean, anything. And you'll see I post a lot about, um, well, I'm just starting to because I'm learning about Kintsuji, which is um, a Japanese art of repairing broken ceramics, broken potteries, and putting them back together. And often the piece that's put back together is even more beautiful. So this is what I'm trying to do with myself, knowing that my injury, I have an, it's a new me, right? I have a new body. I have, I'm dealing with new things. Um, so trying to accept and love me in therapy is, is amazing because I need that right now. I'm not sure. I've never been in this position and having to deal with, um, an injury. 
So you'll see in my posts, I go from makeup and I will go to positive quotes, um, writing about complex regional pain syndrome, mental health, because I think everything goes together, right? I mean, we're doing makeup, we're making our outside pretty, and I'm working even harder on the inside um, to make the inside pretty. And I know my inside is pretty. I just need to keep it alive and to nourish it so um, I can keep moving forward. And that's really important. Nourish yourself, be good to yourself, that's number one because nobody's going to do it for you. Nobody does it for me. I have to have empathy and compassion for myself like I have for other people. And rest when I need to. And it's not easy because you hear the people and there's comments. And I've chatted with another um, young girl saying, you know, and she's been off work for a while. She hurt herself. And it's just people are mean. Like they think I'm lazy. And, and this girl was really hurt. And you really just got to never mind what people are saying because... If you've never lived it, you do not understand it. I have never lived chronic pain. I heard people. Um, now I know what it's like. And my compassion and empathy is very different. Um, my understanding is different. I always had the compassion and empathy. So you know other people, so I forget about it, right? Um, you're number one. So I want to thank you for being here with me today. You guys are awesome. Love it, love it. So let me put just a little bit of my black cherry on. I, and this will last. This is lip and cheek, we call them, right? Black cherry. Love, love, love. If you like my look, I'm going to put it in my details below in my video. I want to wish you guys a happy Sunday. I know this video was long, but hey, did me some good. I hope it did you some good. I sent you big hugs, lots of love, and... Um, you have any questions dm me bye beauty patooties that's girl or guys you're all beauty patooties have a fabulous sunday bye for now